Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Hello everyone, this week has been crazy in the AI world. So in this video, I will share the top three AI news that took the world by storm. The first highlight is that ChatGPT has a body now. A startup named Figure was able to integrate ChatGPT into its humanoid robot. The demo was actually quite impressive. These robots can be used in manufacturing, logistics, and retail. Let me go ahead and walk you through the news. So ChatGPT has a body now. Let's go ahead and walk you through the article. So if you take a look at it, basically OpenAI kind of has been shocking the world over the series pretty much every week. So last week it was able to release Sora, which is a video generating AI from text. You can just give it in text, a prompt, and it's gonna generate a video out of it. It's kind of super hyper realistic video, which is quite incredible. And now it has been able to integrate with another startup, which is known as Figure, create a humanoid robot, which is powered by the GPT family, GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 as well. Basically, these robots are able to see, can respond to external stimuli, and can have kind of natural conversation with humans. Let me go ahead and walk you through the demo. So here is the video. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great. So based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great, can you put them there? Of course. All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. <laughs> pretty incredible, pretty fascinating. Look how natural the voice was of that robot and the capabilities as well of course it's working really well in a specific narrow situations but we'll see the future of this incredible technology kind of unraveling very soon the second big news was the release of devon the first ai software engineer released by cognition ai devon can do incredible things it can take on freelancing jobs on upwork it can even deploy applications end to end. So as you see right now, AI software engineer that codes entire projects from a single prompt. Simply Devon is an autonomous AI agent that can has an advanced, possess advanced reasoning capabilities. Let me walk you through the news at a glance. So AI startup Cognition AI developed an AI engineering platform that can automate entire projects. Devon has impressed kind of big names in artificial intelligence most notably Tesla's AI, former actually AI director, Andre Karpathy, 
it has also received significant funding from Peter Thiel and other tech leaders and it's actually released, it has actually been, been founded a few months ago and it has already raised almost around 21 million US dollars. So if you scroll down, you will see the actual here uh, demo. So let me go ahead and actually walk you through the demo. Pretty incredible. And um, I actually got a lot of questions from software engineers, from also people who are trying to learn how to code, and they are kind of panicking, would that gonna take our jobs or not? And I actually have a separate video that discusses this in detail. And I have kind of strong opinions when it comes to kind of AI taking over human, uh, human jobs and roles. So please go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna have a link somewhere here in the description below. The third piece of news is that the European Union has approved the world's first AI regulations. The regulations have passed with an overwhelming majority in the parliament. It's the first regulations in artificial intelligence that puts clear requirements and guidelines for developing safe artificial intelligence applications. So let me go ahead and walk you through the article. So the European Union approved regulations for artificial intelligence and that happened last Wednesday. And that's the first world's first framework that governs AI. And there has been a lot of concerns around the AI technology and how fast it's actually developing, especially with the rapid advancement in generative artificial intelligence or Gen AI, and that could pose risks to humanity. The EU's AI Act, which has received final approval from the EU Parliament, places regulations on various AI technologies and its potential risks and level of impact. So depending on the actual AI application, and the risk of that application to the public, the kind of um, regulation kind of divide the applications into different classes or categories. There is a high risk systems. Those are in critical infrastructure or in medical devi devices. They will face kind of the highest regulations. And then some AI applications will be kind of banned outright. That requires any emotion recognition systems, for example, in schools and workplaces as well. Regulations will also require labels for AI-generated images, video, and audio content. My take on this is that these uh, European Union um, regulations are actually quite great. The only issue is that it's just coming in too late to the game. This has been, should have been released back in 2019, not in 2024. And the reason is because it's, it's probably going to become so obsolete with the rate that we can see um, with AI technology advancing at kind of a massive scale and massive uh, advancement right now. Basically, the compute power in artificial intelligence right now increases by 10x every six months. So that's the idea that by the time these regulations are actually enforced and actually in place, kind of the AI technology would have taken off. That's pretty much all I have for this video. If you like these type of videos, please let me know in the comments below. 
I will happy to repeat them pretty much every week. And I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in future videos.